Hello everyone, I hope everyone's keeping fine out there and you're all looking forward to, well many of you, last weekend in grassroots football for Christmas. We know um, the 13s, 11s and 13s I think at the North Liverpool are last games next week, a break up before Christmas and we also know that um, the Walton and Caretail, Geoffrey Humboldt, they'll be probably next week as well for their last kickoffs. So for the under sevens, eights, I think that is our last one for a while. We'll keep you updated when we return from the North Liverpool JFL. Um, up until then, let's just hope that you've had a cracking game today and you've enjoyed it. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, it's been wet and we all know that and that's why the grass pitches have unfortunately been called off and I can't see any grass pitches going on unless the league take a gamble and let them play in the mud next week. Not too sure, but hey ho, there should be 3G pitches, 4G pitches, all available for next week for the under 13s, 12s and 11s. I think that's what the age groups that will be on for next week, but I'm sure the league committee will correct me if I'm wrong, and you can always get touch in touch with admin just to confirm that as well. Now the North Liverpool had a collection for um, food banks, uh, food bank support or fan support in food banks and it went really really well as it always does so well done to all the committee there for arranging that one and I'm sure there'll be a lot of gratitude coming around from parents, families who need this and require this badly for Christmas because it's that time of year that we all know where things get a little bit tough, tight, everyone goes into debt and people who can't go into debt unfortunately can't spend the money to go into debt and I'm sure if you give them the chance to do that one and repay them, I'm sure I know which one they choose to help their kids. But there's plenty of organisations doing things and helping out people. And please watch out, look out for the homeless as well. Um, you know, let's let's do a little bit for them and maybe hot drinks if you don't feel like you want to give them mother money or maybe clothes, hats, scarves. We know one call taxis do a lot for the homeless at Christmas, so well done to One Call Taxis. They're always getting involved. Chris O'Sullivan and Jack, I'm sure, will, you know, be helping out as much as they possibly can, but they can't help everyone, we all know that. And obviously, it's that time of year where it gets cold as well. So the elderly, please look out for them as well. If you're in your neighborhood or you know of any telephone call, if you're not getting any answer, getting answer machines, then that needs a little visit, jump in your car or ask someone to jump in the car and go and check on them because we know that they will not put their heat on, they don't want to move, they just throw blankets around them, is that warm enough, I doubt it very very much, so just make sure, you know, because I can tell you now, the mother-in-law, she has a fault on her electricity and when you ring up, the phone goes to an answer machine and when you fly down there, and we've asked the council to look into this, any tips, yeah, age concern, we have been, in touch and it's unfortunately this what happens if a bull goes which you never ever know if a bull's going she's in a council house uh, or not a council house um, anyway whichever way it is it's not owned and um, what happens the authorities just can't do anything about the electrics over the light bulb blows it'll blow the whole electricity being safety what you do and um, you have to shoot down and make sure that they're okay and as soon as work is finished, you have to check that out because they'll sit in the dark and we know, and that's what happens. Um, lucky enough, everything's um, been okay, and she you knows straight away that one of the family will come down. We have these push buttons for emergencies, but the elderly, you know, they will not use them. They don't like their help, they don't want to put anyone out, and, and that's the way, you know, they're old school simple as that so please please look out for someone even ne next door neighbor if you see that the, the house is in darkness give a little knock there's got to be something wrong get in touch with the family if you can and the family will obviously be straight down there and if you have a good neighbor you have a kid go and check on them um, and make sure everyone's just safe for christmas it's it's one of those times of year when everyone's stressed out including me believe me um, people will brag that they've done Christmas months before, but months before when he got 10 grandkids, 
is no good because they'll always change their mind about what they want for Christmas and it's not tough just get them this. You have to talk to your the parents which are your sons and daughters and ask them what they'd like and oh, it's just one of those things, it really is, where you have to try and make everyone happy and the stress of three piece sweets coming, windows coming out, believe me, and the Christmas decorations coming down from the loft and the tr Christmas tree going up and the painting and the decorating is all done. Mine isn't and I'm just halfway there and I know what I've got to do and work gets in the way as well. Believe me, you've got to go to work, you've got to try and do your housework, you've got to try and do your painting and decorating, putting the decorations up, taking them out the loft, all for one single day, two if you count New Year. Um, people always take the decorations down on Boxing Day. They've had enough of it because they've been up that long. And I think most of the decorations have been up since September, October. I've seen them. People can't wait to get them up, but it really does get monotonous and it just gets a little bit boring. Even, it's lovely to see, don't get me wrong, when you're driving around and you're in December and you see all these gorgeous decorations that people have spent umpteen hours doing, putting up, then it really does look the part, I must admit. And you know, the thanks are there, you're putting it on, not just for your grandkids, because you want it, because you feel the Christmas spirit. And as I say, we've just been talking about Christmas spirit, and it's not all about decorations it's all about giving not taking and helping people around you as well that's what christmas the real message of about christmas is all about not who's got the dearest trainees who's got the dearest coat who's got the mic you know all this you know people can't afford it we know that and there's others who can't afford it and it, put yourself in their position if you weren't as lucky as them so this is what we're trying to do heed the warning heed the message and please try and help out as many people as you possibly can and that's what the North Liverpool GFL did today ask everyone to bring in food done it myself and I know how important that is because I see people where I am in the office on a Tuesday there's a food bank there set up and it's horrible to see people sitting there and you can tell that they're embarrassed waiting for food waiting for the handouts and they don't want that but they have to take it so just please, honestly, if you saw the people, you'd understand. And I took this, you know, because I know that the um, fan support and food banks are brilliant. Dave there, everyone who's involved in volunteering to get distribute all this food. You know, it's not just about Christmas, it's about week in, week out. So you can understand when they're asking for these items to be delivered. It's not just about Christmas. So each and every time, when you can afford it, and when there's a special event on, like the football, and they can collect, then please, please, just do this. Just help and try and support someone who needs, who is struggling, and they need the support as well. Again, I'm onto my cup of tea. Um, just because I'm thirsty and I've been doing a lot today, last few days, last week, it's been a killer. It really, really has. Try to get in as much as I possibly can. And I know by the end of it, I won't have completed everything that I wanted to go out and do and complete as well. Well done to Rob, Rob Fulton. Thanks very much, Rob. We were trying to get some funding in for the Heart of Gold initiatives. And our Heart of Gold initiatives, you'll hear about what we're doing to try and help people just maybe before Christmas, maybe just after. But it's all year round. And our supporters, our volunteers are there to make a massive difference. And our new challenge, we're hoping to make a really, really big difference if we possibly can. And we need all your support. And we'll have the GoFundMe page all set up, ready to go. And the lads are all ready to go. They're all awaiting what they can do, what they can't do. And just waiting for me to announce it. So please, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, it's not just about grassroots football here. Um, it was fantastic, well done to everyone involved in North Liverpool GFL, all the teams, all the parents, all the players, all the committees who did bring in their bags as well of food. Well done. I think you're absolutely superb. Um, so if you can help out in any of the ones, other leagues be doing this, then just donate a few tins, whatever it is, whatever the list states, please look at the list and try and help out what you can, if you don't mind. Every little helps. It really, really does, and if we do have the, the bad weather coming over Christmas, it makes that even worse, you know. I'm working over Christmas, like all my fellow members of staff, 
um, to try and make a difference in the community because we're support workers and we do make a difference, I assure you. So we need all your support, everyone walk in, everyone help out, everyone chip in and be a team that you are. A bigger team, please, for this Christmas. All work together and help out as many charities as you possibly can. People who are making a difference, donate food. I know John May, he's on it already. He's, to, he's absolutely superb. And as I say, Chris and One Call Taxis, non-stop, he's on that as well. So please, believe me when I say, it's hard work, everyone tries to chip in to make a difference. And what about our servicemen, ex-servicemen as well, and women who have made a difference and they're struggling as well to make ends meet. So let's all chip in, let's all help and do as best we can. And as I say, if you've got neighbours, elderly neighbours, living in your neighbourhood, please get them checked on and be trustworthy. Let them know that you know them and they know you. You can't just send a stranger because they, they won't open the door anyway. So please all muck in and let's know, let's know, kids and other teams will do it as well and kids will help out. Let's know what you have planned and what you can do over the Christmas period, the festive season and what your team has done or what you've tried to do to raise money. I know Cole Fulton is always out there as well, he'll be doing the Christmas, um, whatever it is in Kirby, um, he, he's on the market, he's on, he hasn't stopped, I haven't even talked to him over Christmas because I know how busy he is people trying to help out as well. So there you go, there's our little bit towards Christmas. The reason I'm doing that is because our league finishes on the Saturday. I'll still be there at the Geoffrey Humble on the weekend, just walking in, paying a visit, wishing everyone all the very, very best and handing out my festive, festive cards to people that I know as well. So there you go. We can all do our little bit to help out this Christmas. So well done to all the teams who've turned up today and mastered all weathers and you're lucky enough to get the football on um, because as we just mentioned here the grass pitches are all off and they struggle to get games on so um, teams are probably folding through that reason and as we said and as we'll say tomorrow as well on our show which these are pre-recorded by the way for the simple reason is Liverpool kick off at 12 or had kicked off at 12 30 and I wanted to do, go and watch that game and I've just been busy with Christmas and I've got the grandson Reuben as well for a day and a half for um, minding them and looking forward to that part as well because all the grandkids are all busy as well. You want to see as many of them as you possibly can. So we all know that grandparents out there are busy as well trying to do their own little bit as well and it's probably the hardest year time of the year for you lot as well isn't it for all the grandchildren trying to keep them all happy, trying to keep your sons and daughters happy as well. So, brothers and sisters, aunties, uncles, please, grandparents as well, mums and dads, why don't we all work together this year and make a difference and try and put a smile. We know it's going to, not going to be the same for everyone. Let's make a difference, especially in grassroots football. Do what you can, like the North Liverpool GFL. Well done to all. Hats off to Julie, Rachel, Bob and Connor and all team Brian as well. And you name it. Bert, oh, Bert, who's Bert? I really don't know. Bailey, Bailey will kill me for that. Anyway, well done to all of them. I do believe that you've all had a really, really busy year with the Christmas period. Now we're coming back, the under sevens, under eights, into 2024. And we'll state that again tomorrow, just a reminder. Everyone's going to be busy. There's tournaments coming up as well, Christmas tournaments. Don't need too much turkey to all under sevens. That's what I'm telling all under sevens as well. They are really playing the heart out at the moment and they are developing and they are becoming slowly but surely a team and it takes a lot of hard work I assure you. So we'll have our final day on Wednesday the 13th, the, the travelling, the final day for Christmas, get them together and all have a little sing song and yeah, just wish them all a happy Christmas and then we'll tell them what we expected them for December the 29th and we know we've got one of our top players away as well. Okay, we've got six minutes left of the show, so there you go. Just remember, when you're out and about at grassroots football as well, spare the thought for our referees who, when it's cold and the games are on, they don't have the option to go home. They'd love to, they stay, teams stay there, and there's some managers and coaches as well who will stay, and they've got four or five games to make sure that they, they look after as well. But most of the kids, they go home, get changed, and the parents go out and do their own thing. But the referees are stood there in that cold weather, wet weather, whatever it may be, 
because it is really, really, and it was last week, Baltic. But we're all there, we're all there to tell the tale. It's only cold weather, it's only wet weather, but you still have to make sure that you look at the kid, the kids' um, dehydration. That can happen, that can set in, you know. It doesn't mean because the kids aren't shivering that they haven't got it. If they're stood still, you've got to get a coat on and keep warm. You've got to keep your eyes peeled and look at the goalkeeper as well. Because if you've got a strong team and that team's attacking, you've got to think of the goalkeeper who's not getting used at all. And you all tend to be looking one way and you're not looking at the goalkeeper. So make sure that you keep your eyes on every player. And Shiverton is a real good sign about it, it's starting to happen. So get coats on them, get them off, get a sub on if you possibly can. But don't have them standing around because they will not enjoy that game of football either. The weather is cruel, can be cruel. Make sure that all the kids are keeping warm. You've got to keep on top of them and let the parents know as well. So for everyone, make sure if you're out and about tomorrow, get some warmer clothes on. You're better too hot than too cold in this weather. Keep warm, enjoy your football, keep a smile on your face and keep that respect going. As, as I said, or as I say, tomorrow as well, you've got to make sure that you look after your referee and each other on the field of play. No animosity. It's not worthy. It's a game of football. Look around the country, look around what's happening elsewhere. And we've got to be thankful that way. We just got a game of football to go and keep the kids happy. And if we could all do that together, then wow, what a world and what a community that we'd all be living in. We've got to work it together, we've got to stay together, we've got to stick together and make a massive team, a team that work and solely work together and help each other out. Do you remember that Ed program, SOS DIY? Ah, oh, do you know, I think it was Nick Ross, was it? The, the, the work that those people done, and honestly, I didn't, you never saw a dry eye. The help the community, everyone stuck by each other, people who had problems. That's the way you want to work it. DIY, 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 SOS. So it's got to be grassroots SOS. All stick together, all make a difference, all help each other out, and all, all just enjoy your football on and off the field of play. So it just remains to wish all our under 7s, 8s, I think 9s maybe, possibility, and 10s, uh, who will be later on back in around about January because they have a nice Christmas break. And it could be about January the 8th if I'm right. But I'll confirm that in a show beforehand because even though you're all finishing up and I'm finishing up for Christmas and the festive period and other teams are, they're all having a break. And many teams will have a break, a long break. They'll all be itching to play football because they all have new boots and new tops and they all want to show out and um, show off to everyone. Um, but at the end of the day, Christmas is about supporting each other. Please, I know I'm going on about it, but it just remains to be seen that if some people are out there not helping others out, then it's not good. It's not good. You'll hear me. Get us a message in malatontechline.com. Let me know what you're doing to help the needy people out there as well. The food banks, we can only thank you, especially you know for the teams who turned up and spare the thought for everyone else who is struggling out there as well. And we'll be doing something different in January, believe me, with Don't Cross the Line, with our Heart of Gold initiatives and our Respect campaign, because we'll be going into our 21st year on Respect and Don't Cross the Line. 21 years is a long time, isn't it? 21 years, wow. Fantastic. 20th anniversary we've just gone through and it's another year gone. Okay, we come to the end of our show. Let's just hope each and every one of you have a Merry Christmas who we don't see and we'll see you on our return in January to the North Liverpool GFL. Merry Christmas to each and every one and all the teams, all the referees who probably will be taking that Christmas break as well. In the meantime, put your feet up, relax, have a glass of wine, Get ready for the big, big special day for that big fella in red. And I'm sure you'll all enjoy when he's been and gone. And put your feet up and relax and then go in to 2024 with a massive smile and a difference on your face. All the best for Christmas. Have a great new year and we'll see you in January. Well, not before. Only in football. We'll be here with our podcast for Grassroots. We'll continue throughout the new year. All the best to everyone. Good night. God bless.